this video, we're going to talk about how different articulation types affect our syllable and the shape of each note. Specifically, we're going to look at legato, which is a lyrical and smooth style, marcato, which is a heavier style, and staccato, which is a lighter style. To start this exercise, I like to play it glissando first, just like this. This helps me to make sure that I am playing in tune and that I'm not changing my syllable between notes. With legato, we change our syllable slightly. The very first note is still going to get that same ta that we were talking about before, but every subsequent note is going to get a da. So it's going to sound like this. Ta da 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 da. This allows the notes to be connected while still defined. Notice that I have to move the slide very quickly to make this work as well. If the slide moves slow when playing legato or marcato or staccato or really any style, you're going to have messy articulation. With marcato, every note has heft and a slight bit of decay. There's also a break in between every single note. So your articulation, your, your syllable, it's going to sound like this. Ta, 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 ta. Don't fall for the trap of thinking that marcato is all about the tongue, because the air does the majority of the work. If you try to make it too tongue heavy, you're going to come out with this sound. It's just too hard to control. Staccato has the most space between every articulation of all the styles that we've talked about thus far. The best way to get at the right kind of feel for staccato is to think about a fairly audible whisper. Light is the word. Don't think short. If you think short, you're going to start doing stuff like tut, 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 which gets a, a really bad sound to it. Want to avoid that. Thank <laughs> you.